What have I got today? Four Pure Session IPA. Mm. Tastes like old beer mats to me anyway. But listen, right, first off, I should apologise for last week. I didn't put up a video because Adam was sick. Uncle Adam was sick. I was on my arse. Don't know what it was. Wasn't the dreaded C word, but I was just, nah. Wasn't feeling it. And, I, and it was my holiday as well last week, I was off. I was just like, Ugh. <laughs> But I'm back on form, back to my usual weird self. And today we're gonna make port, sch port, port? Pork schnitzel. And I'm gonna try and say this in German. Schwein schnitzel. Schnitzel? Schnitzel. Schwein, Schwein schnitzel. Schwein schnitzel. I think, I probably butchered that. And on the outside, it seems like a very simple thing to make. And it is, but it does require a bit of technique, a bit of skill. So make sure you watch the whole way through so you don't miss a step, because there's some crucial things you need to know to get the perfect schnitzel. It's probably a joke in there, isn't there, somewhere about schnitzel. Schnitzel, Joseph Fritt, no. Nope. So remember, if you like the video, stick a like on it, share it, do all that usual stuff. And the first thing we need to do is get our salad ready. Yeah, we'll do that. Do that first. Come on, let's get on with it. Now we're gonna make a simple salad. And you can kind of put whatever you like. But I've got some sweet gem lettuce, got some shallots. Look at the color of those tomatoes. Aren't they beautiful? Because we're approaching summer, so tomatoes are coming in season. So we've got much more variety here in the UK. But use whatever tomatoes you can get. I've got some little baby cucumbers. Look at these, how oh, cute, look. Look at that. Tiny little cukes. Huh? I'm gonna chop them up and put them in the salad as well. I'm gonna get these all kind of washed up, get the dirt out of the lettuce, wash these under the tap just to kind of get them ready. And then we're gonna chop it up and make a salad. Simple. Summer salad. Oh, well, you wouldn't think it was summer. Wait, it flipping looks outside. Look at this. Grey, 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 grey. Grey on the floor, grey in the sky, rain, grey, grey. Now, how beautiful does that look? All washed. What an array of colours. I'm just gonna kind of chop up this lettuce first. Out the f***ing way. And this is enough salad for two people, easy. There's only me eating. So I'll probably have the rest for lunch tomorrow. Lettuce in, and the cucumbers. Look at these, what do they taste like? Like cucumber, funny enough. In they go as well. You get the idea, you get the idea. Tomatoes, all I'm gonna do with these is just take off the little stems, just cut them in half. In they go as well. This is what I love, when the warmer months come around, you've just got all this nice produce coming into season. I mean, you just don't get these kind of tomatoes in the winter, you can't. Look at the flipping color of that, it's amazing. Get that shallot sliced up. And the reason I use shallots is because they're milder, they're sweeter. If you're gonna use like white onion in this, it's gonna to be too harsh, too kind of bitter. It's just gonna overpower everything. You can use red onion as well if you want. So there's all our lovely, wonderful, chopped up salady stuff. Focus, you bitch. All right, there we go. That's the salad pretty much ready to go. But now what I'm gonna do is show you how to make the quickest, fastest, easiest dressing for any salad. It's amazing. And to make this salad dressing, it couldn't be easier. Basically, you want to use the ratio of three to one. Three parts oil, one part acid. It will kind of change slightly depending on the kind of acid that you're using because lemon juice, sort of red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, all kind of have different levels of acidity. So, but use three to one, and then you can kind of add a bit more oil if you need it, just to kind of take it back. But three to one is a good ratio to start with. So I'm gonna go in with three parts oil and about one part balsamic vinegar. A Little bit of salt, a little pinch of pepper, and I'm also gonna add just about half a clove of grated garlic. Come on, in you go. Then just close the lid, then just give it a good old shake, a bit of a workout. Get that practice in, you know, get that forearm strength, if you know what I mean. Here we go, salad dressing. I'm gonna give it a quick taste. Could do with a bit more acid. Touch more for me. So now that we've got a salad, got a dressing, don't be tempted to add the dressing straight to the salad now, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna break everything down. It's gonna draw out water from the salad. You don't want that. You wanna add the salad dressing at the last minute, just before you serve. And once you kind of got your salad ingredients and dressing prepared, we can start preparing 
the schnitzels themselves. Now I've got two bone-in pork chops here. I suggest you get boneless to save you the job of actually removing to save you the job of actually removing the bone yourself. But I'm a pork chop masochist. I like to do it myself. And all I'm going to do is literally just take off that bone. And I'll keep that, keep it for stocks and such. And I'm also going to take off this outer fat cap here. And I'll just repeat the process with the other pork chop and then we can move on to the next step. So there we go, I've finished trimming up the pork chops. Got my bag of gubbins there, which I'm going to stick in the freezer. Then I've got my beautiful, wonderful pork chops here, which we need to beat the living hell out of with something heavy. So I'm going to take two pieces of cling film, one on top, flip it over, another piece on top. Come on. And if you've got a meat mallet, use that, but I haven't got one of those. So just use something heavy, nice heavy base pan like this. This is my sort of scuffed old wok type thing. And just kind of pound it out. Actually, that's a bit too big. Use something else. Rolling pin, that'll do. I'd say that's about right. Bring you in a bit closer so you can see the sort of thickness you're looking for. It's about, I'd say, thickness of a pound coin, something like that. And that's going to help tenderise it as well, which is also a good thing. I'm going to get that onto a plate and do the same with the other one. Let's go. Right, so we've got our pork little cutlets to go there. We need to get our breading station ready to go as well. So what I'm going to do uh, is get organised first. That'd be a good idea. I'm going to add a bit of salt to my eggs. Usually you wouldn't do this if you were going to make like scrambled eggs because it's going to break down the white of the egg. But for this sort of thing, we want that. Okay, so it becomes much more runny. It's going to be easier to handle. So kind of whisk that all together. We've got about 100 grams of just plain ordinary breadcrumbs. Don't use panko. It's not the kind of right breadcrumb for this. And I've got about, I don't know, I'd say three to four tablespoons of plain flour, which we're gonna season up as well. A bit of pepper, mix that all together. Get your breading station ready to go because once that oil is hot enough, they need to go in straight away. So we need to bread them, get them in the oil, and get them cooked. And whatever else you're having with it, if you've got some spuds, get them on as well. But we need to heat this oil up. Drop it like it's hot. Ayo, bitch. And you need to get the oil to around about 340 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 170-ish degrees Celsius. I'll put the conversions up on the screen. You don't want it too hot, but you don't want it too cold. It's crucial that you get that kind of fine balance, because if it's too hot, it's going to burn. If it's too cool, the kind of crispy coating is going to go soggy and naff. So what I'm going to do now is bread the pork cutlets, because they need to go straight in. Don't bread them beforehand and leave them sitting around, because they'll go cakey and soggy, and you won't get the desired result. Trust me, I'm a cook. And look, we know the drill, don't we? We need to go straight into the flour first, shake off the excess into the egg. Make sure you kind of take the time with the egg, because you don't want any dry spots. Shake off the excess again, straight into the breadcrumbs. Okay, remember this is quite a light coating, so don't go over the top. Don't pack it in there, just give it a nice light coating. And then straight in to that hot fat. And because we pounded these really thin, they're not going to take very long at all. At all. Maybe a couple of minutes each side. So I've taken them out, I've put them onto a wire rack, just to kind of drain off some of that excess oil. I kind of went a bit darker than what I wanted, but listen, that's my fault for not paying attention. But they're still nice, they're still good, nice and golden brown. They're going to be great. What do you want? Some schnitzel. Yeah. So they're going to sit there for a couple of minutes, get my potatoes done, we'll assemble the salad, and we are golden. Right, boys and girls, we are ready to assemble. I'm going to add the dressing to the salad, not all of it, say about half, it's going to be plenty. Maybe just a pinch more pepper, a touch of salt, get in there and mix it all up. So all I'm going to do now is plate it up, we can get stuck in. Got my buttered new potatoes there, some Jersey Royals, lovely stuff, nice and simple, all right? This is a really simple, easy meal to make. I'll see you in a second.
Look at this beautiful thing here that I've created. But look, listen to this crispiness here. Get salad dressing all over my mic. Listen to this. Huh? It's what you want. Bit of lemon juice on there. I'm not gonna go like flipping all into it because you know what it's gonna taste like. It's gonna be crispy, it's gonna be porky. It's gonna be wonderful. Pork still nice and juicy. That wonderful sort of crispy coating. I mean, it's easy to put together salad. That simple salad dressing as well. There we go. Schnitzel, pork schnitzel. Schwein schwitz, schwein, schwein schnitzel. Schwein schnitzel. Yeah, there we are, schnitzel. Mm. Incredibly simple to make, and you can have it with what you like. Salad, you can have it with chips if you want. Have it over rice. Serve it with a dead fox by the side of the road if you want. It's your dinner, isn't it? But listen, I'm gonna wrap this up because my memory card is filling up rapidly. Got one minute, 34 seconds left. So if you enjoyed this video, stick a like on it. Remember to share it as well. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll see you next time. Love and kisses and all that kind of stuff. And bye for now. Come on, bud. <laughs>